Time now for Sports, sports, sports with J.R. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, as we know, last weekend in the NFL, the Jets got beat, had another loss by the Seattle Seahawks in a snowy Seattle, which doesn't happen much, as we know. It does get cold up there, but no snow. Um, so, it snowed. And as the, as the loser Jets were walking off the field, um, snowballs being thrown at the players as they were going through the tunnel. And so uh, the, de- the defensive end from the Jets, Sean Ellis, um, decided to do something about it. Um, let's, let's check the video real fast. He's going towards the tunnel. He's grabbing a big snowball. And he slings it at a whole bunch of fans. It's right in the front row. And we're going to see a few more times. Okay, so he, he grabs this big snowball. It's probably about the size of a, I don't know, two basketballs put together maybe? And he hurls it at the, at the crowd. And it lands on maybe two or three people. So uh, for this action, uh, how much do you think he was fined by the NFL? Uh, my guess is too much. Too much. <laughs> too much. Well, if in, in my opinion, anything was too much. So, I mean, give me a number, you guys. Uh, I think I might have seen it though, so I think. Oh, you did. Uh, was it ten thousand? It was ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Which, of course, is like five dollars to some of these players. Right. But, I mean, it, the entire video was their entire walk from one end of the field all the way to that tunnel was long, and it was continuous snowballs getting thrown at them. And they're, you know, on the road. But his uh, his defense was he said he wasn't angry at the time. There was no malicious intent. He said it was all in fun. It was kind of like a little battlefield out there. He said, I mean, I w- it was just all in fun just going into the locker room. So he found a big snowball <laughs> and slung it on everybody. The, the flip side to that, JR, is that it's, it's probably a pretty bad idea to throw something into the stands because then people are going to throw more things back at the players, maybe at a later game, maybe in that game as other people are le- you know, walking into the locker room. So I can see how the NFL might Yeah, it was, it was based on keeping order because then people will react un- uh, negatively. But in my opinion, they were already at, reacting negatively. They were already doing it. Right. Uh, but that was a hell of a snowball. <laughs> and it's not like he was playfully throwing a little snowball. I mean, he threw a boulder at these Right. Guys. And he was. And the thing is, I, I'm buying that he was playfully doing it. Yeah, I agree it was a bad idea. But it's snow, dude. Come on. Here's the thing. Jay, I, I agree with everything you're saying. Uh, I think he was playfully doing it. What is he going to do? Hurt somebody? You know, he just barely got it into the stance to begin with, right? Uh, n- number two... Um, it's a bad idea, but so ten thousand dollars seems like a lot of money to us. But so, what's your final conclusion, though? That's the thing I can't. I mean, if you were the NFL, what would you do? I mean, it's it's possible to uh, to give warnings. I mean, that happens. Uh, yeah. You, you sometimes yeah. you get pulled over by the police, and you were yeah you were going ten miles over speed, but but sometimes you get off, and you go, hey, you know the law is that you're supposed to be going sixty five on the freeway, and you were going seventy five. Sometimes they let you off. Sometimes they ticket you. And everybody knows that it was the rule because they said it was, you know, it was all based off of players are notified before each season that any contact with fans that potentially presents crowd control issues and risk of injury is prohibited. So, yeah, you know it, but it's snow. Everybody's throwing snow at you. Play around. He's like, oh, whatever. I have a ruling. Uh, I agree with Judge Jackson. The correct action in this uh, case by the NFL should have been, well, we understand Sean Ellis was doing this playfully. Uh, at the same time, we can't have it, so we will issue a warning here. If anyone else going forward throws a snowball or anything else in the crowd, uh, we will have a heavy fine. Uh, it's not that we don't want to be playful. We think it presents a crowd control problem, and we just want to make sure and be safe. Bang, bang.